All right, welcome back everyone. We're going to do something a little bit different in the lead up to the exams. We're just going to go through a corpial paper and enjoy that. This is, I think, uh, the 2023 paper. Let's get going. Let's get going. So you've got two transformations here. Uh, was it P, an enlargement, scale factor K, Q, a rotation, theta degrees. That is the overall. Let's find K, let's find theta. There's a bunch of stuff we can do here. Um, you could do it by inspection. But let's just jot down for ourselves what the matrix P is going to be, what the matrix Q is going to be, cos theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, cos theta. And therefore, the matrix M, which is P followed by Q, is going to be K cos theta minus K sine theta, K sine theta, K cos theta. And we can compare terms, right? Bosch, Bosch. That tells me that k sine theta is 4 root 3 and k cos theta is minus 4. Equation 1, k cos theta is minus 4. Equation 2, k sine theta is 4 root 3. And what? If we do equation 2 over equation 1, we get that tan theta is negative root 3 which is therefore 120 for theta. Equation 1 squared plus equation 2 squared, that tells me that k squared is equal to 16 plus 48, which tells me that k is 8. Um, I think I've done this the wrong way around, 1 and 2. What do we got? A uh, square with vertices. All right, let's just do a quick sketch of this, right? So we've got 0, 0, we've got A minus A, we've got A, A, and we've got 2, A, A. Oh, okay. Now, you could do some Pythagoras to find the length of each side, but here's a nice trick for you for something like this. How about we just double it all, right? Double each of those sections. The area of the green square will be 4a squared because each length is 2a. Therefore, the area of S is 2a squared. Right, to see how...